Oh, I can't believe this. Hi guys, Swan Williams here, back again for another video on the channel. And this one today then is Swan Williams City v Rotherham United, Monday Night Football. Probably the least exciting Monday Night Football, probably ever, Sky of Edinburgh schedule. Swan City 15 for Rotherham United 20th. Yeah, for us, we're 11 points off relegation, 11 points off playoffs, bang with table, which is not where you want to be really, because you want a bit of excitement towards the end of the season. Yes, we're not going to go down probably, but you know, still a bit dull at the moment. Rotherham, fighting relegation, 20th, doing all right since Paul was left, but you know, still want to get two more points to be a bit more safer. So it'll be a difficult game today, got some decent players, Rotherham, Chen, Che Doze or Benny, could have been a Swan City player, but we never paid for him. We wanted him in the summer, we wanted him in January, but unfortunately he didn't move. He's got a contract at the end of the season, so hopefully, you know, he'll be a Swans player next year. But, yeah, probably a game I'm really not looking forward to, to be honest. It's just so uninspiring. Um, it's not just because we're playing Rotherham, but it's just because we're on such poor form. Monday night, 8 o'clock. Yeah, there won't be many here today. I feel sorry for the Rotherham fans as well. The ones who have came down, fair play to them. But, yeah, this guy really screwed them over with this late kick-off on a Monday night when, you know, they live in West Yorkshire or Yorkshire, North, South, I don't know but Yorkshire anyway, I think it's South Yorkshire but, yeah in terms of the team selection then, Laborde comes in for Harry Darling the face is becoming in big trouble but, yeah, Hugo and Lee Pelty start for over and two extra Cardiff City players, of course, Sean Morrison would have started today, but he has uh, suffered another long-term injury but yeah, in terms of score prediction, I'm going to go for a 1-0 Swans, uninspiring clean sheet just hopefully get three points and uh, goals going go for Orly Cooper but hopefully it's an exciting game few goals this one to clean should be nice but we all know we've not uh, been the best team of late right so Luke Raw from home today absolutely bouncing atmosphere World Cup World Cup final basically score prediction um, in a while I see not looking forward to it both teams on terrible ball we probably a, a lot worse yeah. But um, yeah, I can see the problem there, but many fans, so I'm not surprised you've uh, turned there to be. But uh, yeah, so how is it going to start? I'm going to put one or two. I think West Coast will be And I think Ben will be better than typical. Yeah, uh, yeah. Cheers. It's so, a curse roll from home tonight. Score prediction. Well, I don't think it's going to be good to tonight, but both teams need points. But based on the way we're playing, I don't see us. Um, Getting a win, I think it'll be a 1-1 draw. Same score as earlier season. Yeah. I think uh, Morgan Whitaker will get another goal for us. And for Rotherham, considering he scored against earlier season, and we've been linked to him in both windows, Chai Jose or Benny will get another one. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. I think if the money was right, he'd be uh, playing against Rotherham yeah. today. But we all know the I owners. Mean, they got an ex-card player, um, Jordan Hugel and, and Lee Peltier. Peltier yeah. They got two card players. Tyreek Foster is quite a good winger, but. He was linked with us as well. Yeah. I think we've got to sign him last day, like, yeah. do you remember? I guess he tried to do your belly again and I've got to get well to you. I know Sean Morris replaced them, but I think he's got an injury, which yes. is good because no one out of defence, he's probably have scored, but yeah. yeah. Cheers. Thanks. Fair play for the Rovers fans who've come down. Not many of them, but who would want to get the phone on a Monday night? I certainly wouldn't if I was a Rovers fan. in a minute and rather move the post already <sighs> nothing changes go on Oli go on Oli oh decent save nice pass decent strike good save first goal chance up for us anyway 0-0 nil -nil. not a bad start 15 gone 0-0 nil -nil. as expected not a classic <laughs> still don't know why this is on Sky but Oh! Decent strike, decent save. No, no. Come on. Let me freeze in here. The game plan is just to win free kicks, get balls in the box, get Hugo's head in it. Our game plan. Thought we'd got one. Still nil nil. <sighs> Probably one of the worst Monday night games I think I've ever seen. It is shocking. Come on! No, it's not in. No. One time we Come actually on, played like quick football, we nearly scored. It's like us 34 minutes to play a pass forward, but we nearly scored. Yes! Yeah! yeah! Come 
One nil, Joel Burrow, brilliant ball by Manning. Jimmy won't be here next year. Yeah, good for this Burrow, Dominic deserve it. Will be the better team, Dominic possession, great chances, ball take it. Yeah, one nil, undeserved, but brilliant play by Manning and a good finish from Burrow. Come on. Oh! oh! <laughs> nearly can see it again from a... Well, nearly can see it from another set piece. Good defending in the end for Gabango, but bloody hell. Go off with one there. Right, Luke Curse, what do you think of the half then? 1-0? Um, well, I think we're lucky to be 1-0 that, to be honest with you. I think if Rotherham were a bit more clinical, they should, they should be about 2-0 up by now, to be honest with you. They, they were unlucky with that off any chance. Uh, we looked quite a bit flat, you know, defensively all over the shop, as per usual. Uh, I don't know what the tactics are, I don't know why Sorno has been so far at the pitch. Yeah. He's decent at going forward, but so far we've been dreadful. We're lucky to be 1-0 up. Can we hold on to the lead? I don't think so. I think Morgan will end up winning this game 2-1. Well, I, I nice don't, and confident, by the way. I don't think it's been the greatest game so far. Chaitozi Obene hitting the posters is, is pretty inevitable. Him scoring because we linked him in both windows, and um, we had one off the line as well. Well, we cleared one off the line from Rotherham, but Joe Perro breaking a deadlock. We one up. Can't really complain, but I think we do need a second goal, or if not more, because I do not trust us staying one nil up and sitting back. Because, because when we won up against Stoke last week, we collapsed, and yeah. We need to be pushing for a second goal, otherwise we're in trouble. Cheers. Second half won't start, one over the Swans. We're winning, clean sheet main thing, but still, no looking convincing. Where's the fucking keeper? Oh, I can't believe this. One. Cross into the box, ball literally stops and sends it off. Benny finishes it. Can't defend. Another goal conceded. We haven't kept a clean sheet in ages. Fair play to all the fans. But, uh, came out second half, slow as usual, and we conceded. Shock. Red! Referee! Should be a red card. <sighs> Tugging and Whitney go down, not even looking at the ball. Nothing given. End chance about to come on as well. 1-1. One, one. In problems. Second half, we just so slow. You know, we were 1-1 one, one against a team who are faced relegation and no urgency, no runners. Just pass around the back. Rather on sitting back, counter-attacking, working. And just dire to watch, really is. Even when we beat Blackpool, it was poor. No words, just write the season off. Come on! Throwing all that. Shocking. 20 minutes to go, it's not great. A clear cut chance for the second half. <laughs> Can you tell me which team's 15th, which team's battling relegation? Any longer we'll be battling relegation. It's just so poor. Life is getting sucked out of this stadium. <laughs> Seen this bad in a long time. That's right, trust the process. Please! Oh! Better, poor header. Got to be going in the back of the net there. Oh no! Are you joking? Oh, is he running? What? No way! I swear to Lord. He had another chance from a set piece. It's just maritime, to be honest. Don't know what to say. Five minutes, Manning and Grimes have come off. Never see that. Come on. Woo! Full time, Swan City won, Rotherham United won. Um, yeah, same old really. Do, do okay first half, got a goal. Second half, capitulate, concede, and yeah, just can't create another chance. Um, fair play, Rotherham. For the fans, they brought them in some decent noise. Safe journey home, but yeah, don't really know what to say because if I criticise Martin, people slate me saying, you know, who could be bringing a better manager, but at the end of the day, you know, taking off Ryan Manning, who is arguably our best player this season, just because he doesn't want to stay here, but still performs well. Grimes comes off as well, he's captain, so, yeah, I really don't know what to say. I um, thought we were lucky to get a point, to be honest. It wasn't a great game of football, um, but I, I'm just so confused at the moment because I don't know what's going on. I don't know if he's lost the players, I don't know if my doesn't care, I don't know if he's both both people are trying their best, but it's just not working off. But 
something's got to change because it's just awful to watch the attention drop in every single week. The optimism amongst the fan base is not great. The owners don't communicate. And uh, someone sitting at my table doing nothing for the rest of the season. But I'll be going to Luton Saturday. Uh, I'll be enjoying my day apart from the 90 minutes of football. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and let me know down below what's going to change the manager, owners, players. Because something's got to, it's, it's not on anymore.